Maintenance therapy is a relatively new concept um, and it's, uh, it's relevant at the moment to what we call the low-grade lymphomas, uh, of which follicular lymphoma is the commonest type. And we have for a long time been able to get patients into remission relatively easily, um, but they tend to relapse. So the concept of maintenance therapy is a treatment that's designed to prevent or delay relapse. There has been work previously with drugs like interferon uh, and other strategies which proved too toxic. For a maintenance therapy to be useful it has to be non-toxic because we want our patients to be well in the community, working, uh, going about their daily lives. That's the aim of therapy. And we don't want to waste that in remission. We don't want to take up their time with toxic therapies. So one of the new developments over the past few years has been using monoclonal antibody therapy, which we know is very well tolerated. And there are a few different schedules and a few different studies to refer to, but I think it's fair to say that that's going to be a useful treatment for almost all patients with low-grade lymphomas. And it may well be a useful treatment for patients with the more aggressive lymphomas as well. We've done some very nice trial work in this country as part of an international collaboration looking at patients at first relapse and retreating them, putting them back into remission and then giving them maintenance therapy. And we know that that works and those patients do so much better than those who don't have maintenance. Our current dilemma is that we've done the same trial in brand new patients who are having their first treatments uh, but we don't have the results yet. And we may have them by the end of the year but I would expect that that's going to show the same thing. So that means that once